Hello, it's Miss Michelle. Welcome to Ministry Minute, Growing Faithful Kids. The season of overindulgence is long past us, right? The sweets and treats of November and December are just a memory now and maybe an extra bump or two on our butts. But as parents, we can take part in a different type of overindulgence. And this kind can be much more damaging than genes that don't fit quite right. We all love our kids. There is really no way to explain the feeling of being a parent. How do we show that love? We hug, we praise, we guide, and we give. Yet with all things, there is a line that must be carefully drawn if we want to raise strong, spiritual, and resilient kids. David J. Bredehoft is the author of How Much is Too Much? Raising Likable, Responsible, Respectful Children from Toddlers to Teens in an Age of Overindulgence. He offers seven strategies for raising a spiritual child, and today we'll look at his first one. The thought about giving too much. Gifts. We all know this tip. Don't buy your kids everything they want. This one is pretty easy to manage. All of us have limits on our spending at some point. Talk with your kids about needs and wants. Share your budget with them at an age-appropriate level. It's never too early to teach about careful spending habits. Rules. Set clear parameters for kids and stick to them. Boundaries are healthy for kids. They keep kids safe, give them a sense of security, help to reduce conflict, and remind everyone who is really in charge. Chores. Don't do things for your kids that they can do themselves. Gosh, even preschoolers can clean their place after eating, help to fold and put away laundry, or pick up their own toys. Chores build a sense of self-esteem and teach children that they are part of the family team. Yes, it can be tempting to give in and buy that wanted item, break the rules to avoid a tantrum, or skip the chores because we all know we can do it quicker and better if we just did it ourselves. Yet doing these things will not create the resilient people that we hope to create in our children. According to Bretta Hoft, adults who were overindulged as kids feel entitled to more of everything they deserve and are not interested in spiritual growth. They have difficulties finding meaning in times of hardship and are less apt to develop a personal relationship with a power greater than themselves. As parents, we need to do the hard work now so that we can grow independent, strong, and spiritual adults to do God's work in this world. You've got this. Don't overindulge. Stick by those rules assign those chores. I know you can do it. All right, we'll see you next time on Ministry Minute, Growing Faithful Kids.